Um, she looks the obvious, doesn't she? Powers of Opal was $13 this morning. Uh, she's been really well supported. She might be more of a wakeful Oaks filly and might not be able to defeat uh, a horse like Snow in May today. But she looks the obvious, doesn't she? She was impressive last start. And she ran the last 200 and 400, basically identical to Fangirl. That's saying something. It does, and then up she comes. So by the same sire, ironically, as the autumn glow, the autumn sun. So Lazura comes up. I think they're set to go. Here's Darren Flindell for the first of the group ones today, the flight stakes. May is the flight stakes favourite, and they're ready to jump. Racing now. Lazura flopped out of the gates last. Snow in May was second last out. And Lady Shenandoah jumped all right with Miss Bustlinger and Powers of Opal is pushing through on the inside. Might lead all of them here. Then Harlem Queen, three for the bank to Snow in May. And Lazura, who flopped out of the gates last, settles in that position. So Powers of Opal has been very strong as a back marker in lead-up races. Makes the running here in a race void of any speed. So Powers of Opal leads by two and Miss Bustlinger. Harlem Queen third the fence. Lady Shenandoah took a sit and gets some nice cover at this point. Snow in May, the favourite, two lengths behind her and a length off to Lazua. So it's the maiden of the field, Powers of Opal in front. Leads by two lengths to Miss Bustlinger. Harlem Queen well positioned third, a half the outside, Lady Shenandoah. A length and a half then to Snow in May. And Lazura sees them all. So the six fillies race towards the home corner and the group one flight stake. 600 metres to go. Powers of Opal in front by a length to Miss Bustlinger, then Harlem Queen, Lady Shenandoah next, two for the back to Snow in May, and Lazura's back last of all, coming around the turn, Powers of Opal going boldly in the lead, Miss Bustlinger under pressure, Lady Shenandoah gets going very swiftly on the outside, and here comes the lady, Lady Shenandoah put paid to Powers of Opal and Snow Queen two lengths away, 200 metres to go, Lady Shenandoah is full of running, she's strong, she's robust, and Lady Shenandoah is home and hosed here in the flight stakes. Harlem Queen bursting home late, but Lady Shenandoah trounces them. Harlem Queen second, Snow in May third, Powers of Opal fourth, then Lazura, and Miss Bustling of his last in. We thought Zach Lloyd might have a pretty good day. Chad Schofield, his cousin, might have a good one as well. And Jack gets a second group one to his name. We knew that it took a long, long time to get his first, didn't he? That Stratty. God, she was impressive. That Ming Dynasty form looks oh so strong. She absolutely towed them, didn't she? Yeah, of course, beating the boys there. And Mayfair coming out last week and, and narrowly getting beaten by uh, some supreme colts in broadsiding and, and traffic warden. So the, the riding was on the wall there. And uh, she is a really, really gifted filly. This I just can't wait to see her in the autumn because she's got this huge, big frame. And she still really hasn't figured it all out yet. And she's got a lot of growing to do. She's, uh, she's going to be one to watch. No, she looks a bit special, doesn't she? So Chris gets 164th Group 1. I think I'm right in saying that. I mean, his incredible career continues on. I am right in saying that. Gets a third win in the flight with a filly that is going oh so well in terms of where she might end up. He's now with Emma. Well, it's been an up and down... 48 hours for the stable as I'm also joined by Guy Morecastle who put, picked out this filly and I can see you're emotional but 